Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. But why do we celebrate November 5th here in the UK? Well, in 1605 the gunpowder plot, attempted by Guy Fawkes, failed when he was captured before he could blow up the English Houses of Parliament. Guy Fawkes Day is celebrated every 5th of November in Britain to celebrate his failure to blow up the Members of Parliament and King James I. We're going to be making a bit of a bonfire craft. So in this one, the materials you will be needing are some paper bowls to put your paint into, some aprons for the kids because this will be getting very, very messy, some paint for the background, some PVA glue, some cotton wool buds, some paint for your fire, some paint for your fireworks. So I've got everything from like glitter paints. There's some of the glittery ones. Can that be focused? There you go. Some of the nice glitter paints. Then I've got some silver, some pale colours, some white there. Got some really vibrant pink, some really bright colours, all for the fireworks. Then coming across to here. You will also need some utensils. You will need a fork. You will need two brushes, one bigger brush, one smaller brush. And then the material that you'll be working on. Now today I am working on cardboard because it's easy for me to get and it's really durable. Um, other than using this, you can use either mounting board or some hard card. Either A3 or A2 would be a good size to use. I wouldn't use paper though, as we're going to be putting a lot of paint on and it will get very weak and it might spoil your art piece. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing is first, I've cut off the two sides and then just evened up all the sides getting rid of all the nasty bits and I've mixed up some black and blue paint into a tub. I'm just going to paint this paint straight onto the cardboard. Now we want to paint the entire cardboard all the way around. You've painted your cardboard in a dark colour so that all those like really nice bonfire and fireworks are going to show up really well and really bright against this really dark background. Leave that to dry to one side and then we'll be back in a minute. The next thing that you want to do is you want to grab your cotton wool buds and then you want to dip it into the red like so and then dip it into the yellow like so. So it looks like you've got a little bit of a fire on there. Now repeat this process a couple of times so you've got a good amount of twigs for the bottom of the piece. And we're going to do that now.
So once you've painted all your cotton wool buds, you can put them at the bottom of the page and spread them out so they look like little twigs on a fire. And then you want to take your PVA glue and you just want to stick these down. Just run that PVA glue over all the sticks, just what? like that. What? You just want a good amount on there, so they all stick. Down. Now once your PVA glue is down, don't worry because it will dry clear. So you just want to leave that to dry to one side and then we'll be back in a little bit. And guys, now that that's all dry, all completely dry and the background's all dry as well, we're going to take two bowls and we're going to put one yellow and one red in each of the bowls. And what you're going to do guys is you're going to paint your hands with the colour and then you're going to press your hand onto there, okay? Okay. What we're going to do is put some white into that one. Yeah. There we go. So can you paint your hands for me? Yeah. Paint your hands for me. Yeah. Wow, look at you painting your hands. Yeah. Should we have a look at your hands? Wow. You're doing really well too. Right then guys, so once our hands are painted, we need to stamp them upwards onto there, okay? Okay, maybe not quite what I was going for, but what the hell, let's go with it. Put it over the twigs, guys. No. No. Well, not all craft projects go to plan. Red, put it on top of the fire sticks. Put it on top of the fire sticks. Yeah. Yay. Yellow, put it on top of the fire sticks. Good, guys. Here? You're there. Wow, that's looking like a great bonfire, guys. Don't tip it in mine. Don't use the brushes, just use your hands. Okay, paint your hand. Paint your hand. Paint your hand. And then slap it onto the page. <laughs> As if the page, not the bowl. Slap it on the page. Yay! Get some red over here, guys. You want to mix all the colours in together. What colour make it? It's sort of an orange, isn't it? Or a pinky orange, okay? We're going to slap our hands again. Keep painting our hands and keep slapping it onto the paint. Right, I'm gonna get me in there too. What man? Hey! It's looking like a great bonfire, guys. You're covering me up. my hands in the yellow paint. Oh, look at that. 
Yeah. You want to come there? Yeah. Bit more of our thing. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's looking like a really good bonfire, guys. Are you going to do your hand assistant? Right, one last handprint, guys. Going to make it really good. It looked really good guys! Right, so the next bit for the fireworks, we're going to get our forks we're going to dip it into the paint so that bit there is covered and then we're going to stab it like that Okay, that's fine You do green, there's, there's, a, there's a fork you gotta make some pretty patterns with the four. Not, not a very lot. You don't need a lot. Just to, I'm just gonna finish it off. Add some more colours in there for fireworks. <laughs> you like watching fireworks, do you? Are we going to go and buy some fireworks this week? Yeah. And we're going to we're going to set them up in the garden. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool, won't it? Yeah. Well. Yeah. You're pretending to be Paw Patrol. Yeah. Huh? All in all, I think the bonfire piece went really well. The kids had a great time with it. Uh, look, you can see like the handprints are done really well and like come through really well. The only thing that I would have changed is the glitter paint. Because I was thinking, oh, you know, glitter paint is going to show up really well and it's all going to be glittery and all fireworky. But it's much too thin, much too thin completely to really show up the way that I wanted it to. I really wanted it to pop like fireworks, it's not done that. So what I would recommend using in the future, if you were going to do this and wanted to add fireworks to it, is maybe use acrylic paint, because that's going to, you know, it's going to be a lot more vibrant and pop a lot more. So until next time, I'll see you later. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it and want to stick around for more, please subscribe. I make videos every Monday and Friday and it'd be great to have you as part of the family. Thank you and I'll see you next time.